peculiar sound. Superficially similar to silence, it was in fact the sound of no letter falling on the mat. What could it mean? Perhaps she had gone deaf. Mrs. Mullins quickly tested this hypothesis. Are you deaf? No. In her distress and grabbing only what was necessary, Mrs. Mullins ran out to catch the postman. Stop struggling! Now! Where's my post? The roof. Why don't you know? Because I'm not a postman. Oh. No letter! No letter! What does this mean? I don't know whether to laugh or cry. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Right, that's settled. I shall cry. And cry she did. <laughs> for ages. <laughs> However, six hours later, her tear ducts ran dry. So instead, she began to sigh. Her sighs grew longer and more complex. They attracted a cult following and provided her with a minor hit on the indie charts. And at number 28, it's the remix of Sides by Mullins. Great track, a bit like Porter's Head, but without the instruments or the singing. Meanwhile, Mrs. Mullins, unable to sigh further, began pulling out her hair. Only a single strand remained. She decided to leave her head fallow for a while. Fallow! She invited her friends round and began pulling out their hair instead. This they did not mind, really did not mind, and they left rapidly for other reasons. I'm sorry, I've got to go. I uh, left my cat in the microwave. <laughs> Mustache, uh, I'm training to be a lawyer. So there she stood, alone, bald, blind, and with little chance of mainstream chart success. Suddenly, and without warning, the story ends. I do apologize. Sorry, come here, but now some traffic news. <laughs> come on, come on, traffic news. Look at the state of that. Why, why couldn't you drive it at night? Eh? Fuckers gotta go to work. Can't film, can't do nothing. And why? Because, because, you know what they're only doing? They're only filling out the budget. They spend all year saving up the money. Hell, women are dying, falling down potholes. And at the end of the day, they go, oh, shit, if we don't spend our budget now. Look, yeah, you drive on now that we're telling the truth. Yeah, haven't you, sand cement? I've got a cousin in trade, it gets me cheap. Don't fucking need you. Anyway, and now, um, you know, if we've got clearance from traffic, why present news in London? That's my question. There's loads of shit happening in my town. You say tomato. I don't say anything at all. I will not speak of vegetables, let alone fruit. When will Bruce Springsteen get in the neck? 
Ah, crank up the satire machine. Crank it up. Yes, the satire machine. In here, you put what you want to be satirized, and out of this decorative ass comes the satire. It was built by the ancients, maintained by the ancients. Some of its components are ancient as well. Hello? I'm 73. Of course you are. Now back to work. I love old people. They're so useful. Ah, Springsteen. The satire of Springsteen arrives. Yes. What? Do not be alarmed, my friends. For you see, Springsteen is a self-satire. One of those rare classes of objects that are, in fact, satires of themselves, like the lesbian or the cat. What's that you say, Bruce? You're going to drive all night through the wind, through the rain? Yes, Bruce, in a car. Come here, stand on a van like a man. Well, I guess this is the end. Thank you for coming. Please wipe your pants when you leave. <laughs> Monkey, shoo them away. Go on. As once you herded sheep, now my monkey herds you. Go bleating like the sheep you are. Yes, with more enthusiasm. Goodbye, nowhere. What's that? I want one of those. Thank you very much. Ciao. The vowels there. Next week, consonants.